Hi, today we are going to Turkey. Actually, Istanbul, the European part of Asia, I think. I've never been there before, but doesn't stop me from checking their stuff. I do love hunting for treasure. Now we are in our room where shit is about to go down. Let's do a quick assessment of the situation. Mm, let's see. The outlets are these European type of outlets with two round prongs going into this which is recessed I like this unlike the stupid North American style that sits right on the surface and the prongs can be exposed this thing is recessed so these prongs will go all the way inside and there is no chance anyone can touch them oh look this thing even has doors so you can't shove in anything in there easily and these contacts on the side are for ground for any plug that needs them like for example this one you see on the sides it has contacts that touch those contacts for ground connection but something like this that doesn't need ground connection just goes straight in and of course there is an outlet right by the sink in the washroom with no obvious ground fault protection but it's the European style I assume there should be a central one which begs the question do we have access to the fuse panel? nothing in the closets right here outside the room <sighs> oi what is that? there is a box up there <gasps> <laughs> Fuse panel! Why is it so high? Come on! Uh, what the? <laughs> the whole thing came off. I guess I'll have to come back and reassess my life. It's a nice hotel. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Maybe more electrical stuff? Ooh, what is it? Door behind it, eh? What is it? Ah, it's just plumbing. Never mind that. Come on. No, oh, jeez. Come on. Why doesn't it close? Okay. Never mind that. start with some basic system checkup here so we have 230 volts at there confirmed 50 Hertz country and I'm pretty sure power lines are not isolated from ground yeah ground is shorted to neutral and the voltage is still not a square wave which is good let's see if we can take this out there you go nice they all look updated and in shape very good i do like the european standard i should rate the standards in different countries at some point it's generally pretty nice and well organized city i'm having a hard time finding power lines <laughs> very well wired I guess okay let me see if I can figure out what's going on in this fuse panel Just take a picture okay what do we have here a bunch of regular breakers and this one is the main one and it does look like can you see it it seems like we have a 30 milliamp RCI so ground protection for everyone well I believe it when I see it I need a resistor Just find one from my stash of resistors we run over 30 milliamp of illegal current from live to earth through the resistor to trip the breaker 
Such a sketchy method I have, but I guess it works in all sorts of outlets. I run the current through my ammeter. So the live through my ammeter is connected to this resistor and I touch the other side of the resistor to the ground. Whoop. Why is the ground fault not tripping? <coughs> ah, sh what the hell happened? The resistor started smoking and then it popped because the resistor got shorted. And what happened to the ground fault protection? Uh, there you go, only one of the breakers has popped. That's odd. The power didn't come back. What happened? The hotel still has power. It does have ground fault protection, but it didn't work. My resistor was 6.7 kilo ohms, which means like 34 milliamps. It should have tripped the ground fault protection, especially after the resistor burned and popped. I guess I'll have to tell the hotel room that I popped the breaker. Nice hotel we are in. Yeah, I have to wait for these guys to leave the room before I can continue breaking stuff. The breaker was popped from outside the room somewhere as usual, but the lord of the rooms fixed it for me. <laughs> and the guy knew me too, so it was a little bit embarrassing knowing that he knew that I popped the breaker. No matter, it wasn't my fault their ground fault protection didn't work. Well, hopefully the lord of the rooms will see this video and fix this breaker here. Let's check it out again. Almost falling off. It does have a test button. Let's see. The breaker doesn't work. This works the same as our GFCIs in North America. When you press it, it's supposed to pop. Mm, I guess these things do fail once in a while and it's important to make sure to check them. And what are the chances that I'm exactly in the same room as the failing one? Well, fortunately, I have access to another room, so I get to check the fuse panel here. <sighs> they have the RCI here. Let's test it. Hey, it works. There you go. So I guess with my sample size, the chance of failure is 50-50. I guess the test is not complete until we do it at the outlet level. We connect the live here and the resistor to earth. What's going on? Uh, it didn't work because I've blown my meter's fuse. <laughs> what do I do now? I guess I plug my alligator clip directly into the live. Oop. How am I supposed to hold it in there with one hand? Okay, now we connect the other side to ground. There you go, it popped. So the ground fault protection actually works. Everything is wired properly. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, we are open. You're welcome, bro. The good news is that you might be protected or not. What could go wrong if there is no ground fault protection? For example, measuring from earth here to the body of this kettle, we see it is shorted to earth, which is a good thing. If the lie wire internally breaks and touches the exposed metal, it basically shorts to earth. With a functioning ground fault protection, the breaker would trip right away. But without it now, we are relying on high current going to the earth to trip the breaker but the current may never get that high, which means that could be a fire hazard. 
or you see the body of this lamp has some random voltage on it which means that it's floating and not connected to earth or anything so if the live wire inside breaks and connects to the body of the lamp and you touch it and you're standing say barefoot on the ground or touching earth somehow you'll get some massive good shock and the damage could be anywhere between stopping your heart to jumping and tripping and falling and banging your head on this stone table or falling on this spike conveniently placed for this purpose or especially in a wet washroom like this if you are using the hair dryer and drop it into the water here and try to pick it up you can get a shock or die or just fall on this spike conveniently placed here for this purpose what i'm trying to say is that ground fault protection is important you may live your entire life never need it but i know some people would survive if it existed These wires are from ancient Ottoman society. Uh, telephone lines of ancient Ottoman society. <laughs> Finally, some very sketchy wiring. <laughs> I got you. I guess you can find this only in the ancient bazaar here. How many years have they been like this? Looks like a skeleton actually. You barely ever see any communication lines or electrical power systems anywhere in the city. They kept it quite clean. Well, I mean, beside the electrical system, everything is nice and clean as well. find a way to safely measure the voltage of these power lines from a distance but I think the tram voltages are around 750 volt DC you want springs you get springs you get strange shops around here tools Pools everywhere. Super Mario restaurant? I hope PS3 doesn't sue these guys. Today we came to some island and hopefully I can find some failures of electrical systems around here. Oh my god, this seagull is out to get my drone! Run! Run away! Cats! Cats! Even more cats! Cats everywhere! I didn't find any electrical failures in this island either. Every morning I'm just excited for our breakfast. <laughs> ah, and the view. Can you see the view? Let me give our Fairmont Port Hotel some free advertisement because they're such nice people and great location, especially since they are right beside the electronic passage with all the components you need. It's huge. Oh man, this is the best spot ever. What are the chances? This is my home. 
And a special thanks to the hotel for not kicking me out because I popped their breaker. <laughs> Very interesting city with a disappointingly clean electrical system, which is nice. Now, where do I travel next? Actually, in June, I'm going to open source. You should all join too, especially if you're a maker and have something to show. There are like 500 different booths that you can showcase whatever you have in there. It is free to have a booth there and you get to join the Friday party as well. Make sure you come. Oh, holy sh**.